So it's currently Friday. I have the day off. Currently at my mom's because I'm finally going to bust out my cricket that I got back in November. I, yeah, yeah, it's been six months and I still haven't opened it. Well, I opened it when I first got it. I just never set it up. And I'm feeling crafty and I want to make crafts and shit soon. And then today was also feed supply day, which means I spent close to 300 fucking dollars on food and supplies for my animals and then some. Actually, actually, I spent $210 on stuff. No, the math is adding up to 250. So I spent 250, but I would have spent 300 and something dollars on all this stuff. But I found a new supplier for dog food, so I'm going to start going to him cuz I got 66 pounds of dog food for $65, which for Canada, that's fucking amazing. And then with the frequent buyer program that Petco had, they gave me a quote-unquote free bag. They gave me a $33 limit on a free bag, so I had to just use that on a 47 pound bag, which came out to just 20 bucks, so that's not bad. And then, the place that I get the cat food from, Fin and Feather and Lakeside, uh, they took $6 off my $40 bag for the cats, found out that they have a freaking buyer program for their cat litter, so I bought cat litter, <laughs> and then the Canada puppy food was on sale, it was buy one, get one free, so I bought puppies extra topping food and then i was like "Ooh, glow in the dark bowls for the lizards fuck yeah let's get those too and then i bought a reservoir for the lizard uh gemini and then i saw the clearance section in petco spent 25 dollars in that and then y'all know those little advent calendars why <laughs> i had them on clearance for a dollar so i got two one for my animals and then one for my boyfriend's i think the only thing i didn't get was dog beds or cat treats there's y'all wondering how the fuck can you afford to do all that or to spend that much i don't I, I can't i work two jobs monday through friday the nanny gig and then sometimes tuesday and thursdays afternoons and the weekends i go to the farm then in my free time i do photography make money off that and uh, i'm busting out my cricket so i can start selling crafts Oh, in all technicality, I work every goddamn day to afford the animals that I wanted to feed them that I can't afford to feed them, and then be able to buy myself and my mom food. It's great! It's great! Trust me, I I'm not burnt out at all. N not one bit. Also, in other news, I took Nugget to one of my mechanic friends to run, like, a code reader on her. Because Monday afternoon driving down back roads, this bitch was like, Oh, I'm going to turn off traction control and put the ABS light on the dash. Why the hell she did it, I don't know. So, I had my friend Doug run the code reader on her. And he's like, um, Sam, there's no codes coming back. Okay? So, at this point, I'm just convinced Nugget is that one toxic bitch that's needy and wants attention so she likes to throw up dash lights to scare me well it fucking worked it, nugget is a delicate little flower anything that's even slightly bit of too tight of a turn or too quick of a zoom 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 she throws up a fucking code for example this fucking check engine light comes on and the ABS light whatever the check engine light keeps coming on and i asked one of my other mini cooper friends like hey what is with this fucking uh, check engine light issue? And he goes, well, since it's orange, it might be an emissions thing. Great, because that's just one more thing to add to the list of shit that Nugget keeps fucking pulling money out of my wallet for. <laughs> this bitch needs a fucking tune up. Yeah, so let me just show you all what $300 got me today. Just to reference the ass end of a mini real quick. So, one, two, and three, these three bags, $65. Shout out to my man Gary because he's my hookup from now on. This bag alone retails at $75. This one retails for $57. And then the multi formula, the multi protein, $54. Gary was even cool enough to throw in three free toys for spending more than $50. And $65 on freaking 64 pounds dog food? That would have retailed me closer to like $200. And this was the free free bag from petco i paid 30 dollars for that because they knocked off 33 dollars off that and got these little advent calendars from christmas for a dollar a piece i think this was a dollar bring it on zeus because this is stupid funny this was three dollars 
Yeah, three dollars, and it's going on Bandit and Grizzly. I got this for the puppies because they like nylon shit like this. Hockey and Jackson are going on multivitamins. They need to. This was like seven bucks, and it got a new collar. And then Copper got his bowl. And Feather and Lakeside had a deal going on for buy one get one free for a seven pound bag or less. So I got puppies a topper, and then I want to see what Jackson and Zeus and maybe even Rocky can do with wild boring of Barnes of Bean. New type of cat litter I want to try out on the cats. This is a multi-cat formula. And then fucking Beanie is such a picky little bitch that she has to have her expensive ass indoor entree by Akina. And then mealworms for the lizards. A reservoir for Gemini. And then glow in the dark feed bowls for this one on top's going to Ophelia and then the bottom one's going to Gemini. Well all in all I would have spent close to like three to four hundred dollars today and I got it for under two fifty. Not even the best part. <laughs> I get to listen to the puppies play with this. Just did the fucking math. I paid a little under two hundred and fifty dollars for all this shit. The math for the retail value, five hundred seventy one dollars and twenty cents. That doesn't even include the taxes I would have fucking paid for this shit. If we're being honest, I don't know how to do tax math and I don't even know how much taxes would have been for this kind of shit. But in all in all, I have at least fucking a shit ton of food to hopefully last me a month, if not six to eight weeks. Because some of it is just topper food. It's not even like full blown, a full cup of food a day food. Wow. It wasn't even coupons that did this was right place right time on facebook marketplace to find a plug like this dude gave me 200 dollars worth of gourmet dog food for 65 dollars and threw in free fucking toys for spending 50 dollars with him <laughs> you know if i want to give the dogs this this is this is cute and this said dude had a full shed of just straight up animal food and supplies he says he has a supplier i'm sitting here like can, can I just avoid paying taxes for dog food altogether? Hopefully this dude remains my plug for the next 8 to 10 years. Coupons can't beat this kind of price. Not in a fucking never. So as of right now, I just finished dumping bags into buckets. Bucket is the multi-protein all stages. Travel bucket. Emergency all life stages bucket. In case they run out in the big one. A real wild boring garbanzo bean recipe for adults. There's the extra in that. The senior, the Rocky, and then we even have an emergency cat food bag, bag in there. Cat food right next to dog food because it's convenient. So now I'm at a point where do I give the dogs baths first or do I do litter first? I think I'm just going to give the dogs baths first because the sun's going down. It's 6 o'clock. I need to be at my mom's house again by 7, 7.30. So I got to get a freaking rush on this shit. Dirt is black. It it happens. So as of right now, I'm having to use a cloth. So it's it's a it's a deep cleansing glove, and I'm having to use this because my freaking hands have acrylic nails on them, and it's just not it's just not enough at this point. And like as you can see, this actually <laughs> feels better and gets down in the skin for him, and he gets the medicated. It's really Tropicana shampoo. It'll come out. What is wrong with this shit? There we go. <laughs> he 
put your weight back on. I'm so happy. So last month, Jackson out of nowhere started like losing a shit ton of weight. And I purposely left him out of my vlogs because he was skin and bones, even though he was getting a cup and a half of food every damn day. So at one point I was like, maybe I'm not giving him enough protein intake, even though you have the multi-protein meal. So I upped his intake, but added a topper to it. I added the wild boar and garbanzo bean recipe. And now he's dirty, but he's thick again. Like, look at his muscle tone. You don't need all this muscle. You don't do nothing with it. You don't do nothing with it. <laughs> Dry off on the towel. That's the bet. The three oldest got baths. Come on. They also got their beds washed. Well, these two did. Fuck that little shit. She fucking ate the cooling mat. Good boy, Jax. Good boy. Good babies. You're all clean and so are your beds. Yeah, I washed your tray out. That shit was fucking nasty, Coda. These two floppy sons of bitches are going last because <laughs> they're too much to deal with with those three. Y'all rolled in your shit. So y'all are going dead fucking last. So Sissy's acting weird. And I'll show y'all what I mean in a minute. Your first solo bath away from Sissy. You're such a good boy. Yeah, you are. You're such a sweet boy. This is what I mean. She's acting weird. Do you have anxiety? Do you have big dog anxiety? What the fuck is on your lip? You've been eating cat shit. Kisses. <gasps> Kisses. Everybody is finished with bath time. Apparently it takes two and a half hours to wash five fucking dogs. I am now prepping dinner for them and I'm trying to figure out which ones go to which again? I did buy senior food. I bought an adult food. I bought a puppy food. Uh, those are all gonna be toppers along with their multi-formula, multi-protein formula. And Rocky is starting a multivitamin. This all actually worked out pretty smooth. Like salmon oil in there for good luck. Never in my fucking life have I ever, up until now, had a whole ass dog get up on a leather couch and drop a fat steaming pile of dookie. Like, what the fuck? I don't even understand, like, I smelt the shit. I kept looking for the shit on the floor. Never until, like, I turn on the lamp and, like, look over and, like, oh, there's a fat pile of shit on the couch. And it wasn't one of the puppies. I think it was Zeus, cause, ah! I am over this puppy phase already. I thought, like, oh, I wish they'd say puppies forever. No! I want house trained dogs! Second poetry.